What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben for those that are new and I make Etsy tip videos every single week, every Sunday and Wednesday I upload those videos. If you're new here, I own an Etsy shop called Hello Happy Baby. My wife and I, we sell pregnancy announcements on that Etsy shop and we've been in business for over four years and it is our full-time income. And I find joy in making YouTube videos and helping other people succeed in their own shops and own entrepreneurial ideas and stuff like that. So if that interests you, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. This video, as you can read by the title, is how to get more reviews on Etsy. Reviews are huge. <laughs> if I'm a consumer, the first thing I look at are the reviews. Does it work? Does it break within the first day or so? Does it get shipped timely? Stuff like that is what I look for in the reviews on Amazon or Etsy or any other place that are shopping. I always, and most consumers, always go to the reviews. So in this video, I will give you my four tips of how to get more reviews on Etsy. And not only more reviews, but five star reviews because you don't want one star. All right, let's get into the video. All right, welcome to my backyard for my first tip out of four of how to get more reviews on Etsy. And that is you need to provide a solid product. If your product flat out sucks, if it's defaulty, if it's just not well made, if it's just like poorly put together, no effort or thought put into it, you're not gonna get positive reviews because you didn't put in the time and the effort to make it worth it for the customer. So my first tip if you wanna get more reviews is to make a solid product and deliver to the customer. All right, all right, my second piece of advice and my second tip to get more reviews on Etsy is, and I love this quote, is under promise and over deliver. So what does that mean? So to under promise means you don't give your full 100% what you're gonna to do to the customer. You give them maybe 75 to 80% of what you're gonna provide. And then the over deliver part is then you give them 100%. So for example, if a customer messages you on Saturday and they're like, hey, can I get this by next Saturday? And you're like, yeah, it should arrive, uh, you know, Friday or Saturday and you know you could get it there on Thursday pretty easily but you don't want to flat out say that you want to surprise the customer by getting it there a day or so earlier for them under promise over deliver you'll get way more positive reviews because they're gonna be so excited that you were able to bring them more value all right <clears throat> If you guys like these different scenery or whatever it's called, give the video a like. Uh, it's been fun to sh uh, change it up than being just sitting at my desk. So, but you're not here for me being silly and going around to places in my house. You're here for the third tip and piece of advice of how to get more reviews. And that is to just flat out ask. It's so simple, it hurts. When you go into your, your Etsy dashboard, you can go to your orders and you can go to completed orders and you can see on the tracking if it's been delivered or not. Those that have been delivered, send them a message. Send them a message and say, hey, I see you've got your package. How is it? Is everything okay? Is it what you expected? We would love if you could leave us a review. Thanks, Ben, whatever. Don't put Ben if that's not your name or you look like a weirdo, or you had an employee, so they might be impressed, but put your name and just ask people to leave reviews. Yes, some of them won't. Some people won't even get back to you. Also, some people would have an issue with the product, which is great that you found that out before they left a review so you could resolve it. And that rolls right into my fourth tip, is be ready to make things right when the customer's expectation was not met. So again, make or be ready to make things right 
when the customer's expectations weren't met. People put, you know, in the description of their products what to expect when other people get their products. Nobody, not all the time, reads those. So when they get their product and it's not exactly what they thought it would be, don't be like, It was in the description. You should have read the description. Just be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, it's, it was a miscommunication on both ends. What can we do to make it right? And it could either be a partial refund, it could be a new product because they thought it was something else, it could be a full refund, or it could just be, you know, oh, it's a, you know, they're understanding on their side. They're like, oh, it's fine, whatever. But that's my fourth tip is just be ready to make things right with the customer. You know, you're gonna lose some money here and there in business, but it's better to be a polite, nice guy because that's gonna go a lot further than being rude to your customers. So. This is coming from our shop. We have over 2,000 five-star reviews, and we have almost three, not almost 3,000, but over 2,000 total reviews. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.